Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can display and use buttons or any UI component with the stack navigation. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here you can see that this is our stack navigation header area, right? In last part, we put some design there. So now let's say you want to add some button, some uh, text input or anything, any UI component there, then how you can do that. In this video, we will learn that thing. Uh, let me give you one more uh, clear example. So in this uh, picture here, you can see that there is a list option inside the header and there is some more options for uh, uh, you can see that uh, menus and switch box and brightness options are, are there, right? So in this video, you will get idea like how we can uh, add these items with the stack navigation in React Native. So now we can jump on the code. So this is our screen to check the output. And let me just hide this sidebar so that we have more area. So now let's say we want to add a button uh, inside the login screen. And we have the two uh, options to add the button. We can add in the left side or we can add the button in the right side. So firstly, let's add it in the left side. So for that, you just simply need to add their header title option, right? And there you can put any component and just keep in mind this is basically a uh, arrow function Th this is the uh, this header type title is a type of function right so you can put any function it could be arrow function or normal function but it should return some values right so i'm putting there a arrow function and just put there a button like this like this and let me put there some title also title so you can say that uh, left or something whatever you want to put there and keep in mind that it should be imported from the react native and now you can see that we got the button inside the left side perfect all right and uh, one more thing after you will just put some content uh, in the header title the title not visible uh, there right so even you can add some text also if you want let me just show you how you can add the text and let me put there text uh, with this and uh, some text let's say left right or whatever you want to put and here we go that text right and even you can add some custom style also you can put some custom style also there all right so uh, now let's see that how we can use some event over there with that button right so i'm just uh, undoing it with the button and let's say there is a function inside the app component and let's say this function name is uh, header action or something right and there we are just printing some warning let's say button pressed or something after that there is a header action and what we can simply do there we can just use it or the as a event on press and this header action and now it should just give a warning once we will pre uh, press this and here you can see that button pressed we got that so this is working perfectly fine so now the same thing if you want to add on the right side also then how you can do that just do one thing simply use a one more property header right and again this is a there should be a function so i am putting there a one more button even as i told you you can use any uh, component there any ui component even you can create your custom components here i'll show you how you can put the complete component there right and here we go now we have the two buttons left and right side but now let's say you want to put here some more stuffs like a list or you want to call some api there so how you can do that even you can all these do, do you can do all of these things by just adding a component so let me create one more component const header or you can put any other name to this right and just return something there so let me return button title you can see that 
header btn or something right and let's simply just put this component there header button right and now if you want to again just perform some action then then you can do that even you can use some input text also now input uh, let me just import there text input and you can put some placeholder also let's say enter data enter name whatever you want to say and here you can see that and now if you just uh, try to type something you can type there so with that way you can use you can add any component your custom component input box whatever you want to add you can do that similar to the this these things right so that's all for this part and uh, for interview question uh, you can uh, in interviews they can ask like uh, how many options we have to put their custom components we have two options left and right area right there is otherwise there is a no more options uh, next thing can we just uh, add custom components to the uh, that uh, in header area definitely yes we can do add the custom uh, components even we just saw that right and one more thing i just want to complete in this video so here you can see that in a home and login we have the two these two components in the same file so how we can put these two components in the different file so let me show you just cut this uh, login component from there and inside the components or anywhere in your project just create a file let's say with the name of login.js put this content there and now just put their export option there right and uh, with the same way just create one more file home.js and again just put this home area uh, home component inside the home js and just put their export option also and now we need to import their uh, view text and all so just copy this react native import even you can just remove the unused component from there but for a moment to just complete video quickly i am putting the everything as it is all right even you can remove the uh, text input from there because this is not used in this file now after that let's simply uh, put their home let's import it login and this is also imported and now let's check the output what we are getting there everything should be work similar uh, should work similar as the these two components in the same file so we can go to the home screen we can go to the back we can just click on the left menu uh, and we can just enter some value able to enter values there right so there is a small ta task for you also like how we can create new file and uh, use this header component from the different file right so that's all for this part and I'll, I'll request you to please like this video share your feedback in comment section and uh, subscribe my channel also and this is my paytm number for donation thank you guys thank you everyone